They push on people. And they push on troops that deploy. Right. When they're under extreme amounts of stress and pressure in combat scenes, scenarios, they push opium products on them. And then when they bring them back home, they go, hey, we're going to start doing urine tests. Mm. If, you, if you test positive for any kind of opiates, we're going to kick you out, take your benefits, and everything you just did for your country is out the window. Meanwhile, illegals are going to come in. They're going to get health care. They're going to get education. They're going to get treated like heroes. When the heroes are being drugged up by the government. You're under arrest. This is Germany. <laughs> the Stasi has been hired. Oh, You're here comes arrest. Alex. <laughs> You're not allowed to would be making an the appearance. illegal alien invasion from the Middle East or anywhere else. <laughs> Europe's free. That's why you're arrested, Joe Biggs. You're now under EU control. <laughs> Again, this is the 28-hour... <laughs> Money bomb from uh, InfoWars, the 2015 money bomb. We're trying to reach 400 million people, trying to raise a million dollars. We just had a contribution. Uh, they brought in to me a $500 contribution from Rila Inn. Rila Inn in California. Thank you so much, Rila. Thank you so much for supporting yeah. us with that. That's a, a large donation. Most of our donations are very small, and we appreciate that. That's the kind of support that uh, we see happening all the time. A lot of small donations. Thank you so much again. That was $500 from Rila Inn in California. If you can contribute, that number is 888-253-3139. Again, that's 888-253-3139. We also have, if you're not able to just make an outright donation, uh, we will help you as a sign of our appreciation for your support. In the past, we were offering discounts. We're offering free shipping throughout the 28 hours of the money bomb, as well as discounts. We have a special discount, uh, special products that are going on discount right now. We have 30% off of Super Male Vitality until 10 p.m. Let's go back to the debate and see what's going on here. We got a back and forth between Don Trump and uh, Chris. With John Kennedy was elected Chrissy, Chrissy. president in 1960. He was 26%. Harvard and Dartmouth says that. Social Security is going to go insolvent in seven to eight years. So what I say is very simple. We need to save this program for the good people out there who have paid into the system and need it. And if that means making sure that folks like Donald and many of us on this stage don't get it, that's the right thing to do. Because here's what Hillary Clinton's going to want to do. She's going to want to put more money into a system that has already lied to us and stolen hey, from us. let's this understand that Social Security was a lie from the beginning. The first place that it was put in was in Germany by uh, Bismarck. He picked the age of 65 because that was a life expectancy at the time. You understand the Ponzi scheme involved in this? And so now we got Chris Christie and these other guys. They keep raising the age every year. That's the way they're going to do it because guess what? People are starting to collect some on it. We can't have that happen. Starting to live longer. Exactly. Why should we mean test something that they've been taking 15% out of our payroll the entire time that we've worked? Especially on the lower end, on the poor people, they've taken 15% out of the payroll. I think anyone who's put into Social Security ought to be given that back. That's part of a deal. They, they told people about it. Let people opt out at an earlier age. Let people opt out at any age if they want to. Uh, that's, that's the, but people that have been forced to contribute to this, you don't take it away unless you're somebody like Chris Christie. There's plenty of things where they could cut instead of cutting the promises that they've made to people. The Reagan way. Because we're not going to destroy our economy the way the left-wing government that, under, that we are under now wants to do. I'm we're citing not George Shultz. Well, I, I don't, he may have lined up with their positions on this issue, but here's the bottom line. Every proposal they put forward are going to be proposals that will make it harder to do business in America, that will make it harder to create jobs in America. Single parents are already struggling across this country to provide, provide for their families. Take out an Maybe insurance policy to respond to climate change? Yeah, so so an just in case it's real? Yeah. Let's, let's destroy the economy yeah, just in case? <laughs> right. <cannot laughs> so That's CNN not for gonna, you. It's not gonna That's Jake Tapper. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. Hey, the way they could bring it up. Hey, I'm sorry. I got to say something really quick. This is hilarious. This guy just tweeted us. Yeah. Walter Hargis, he says, Chrissy is right. If people smoke weed, they get the munchies, which, which leaves him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he's against marijuana, guys. Chris Christie doesn't want you to get the munchies because you're going to eat the Twinkies, the, the sandwiches, all that stuff. And it's going to leave him without anything. <laughs> well, Chris Christie clearly has not experienced any of the edibles that are out there. So Chris Krispy Kreme. He might be for it if he... <laughs> Chris Krispy Kreme. That, that, that's a t-shirt we need right there. <laughs> Take a bite out of crime. Hey, I, need, I need to go get that Donald Trump poster real quick and show it. Yeah. That you have on your desk. Go you get it? Bill yeah, Bill. yeah, go get that. Yeah. We shall overcome. <laughs> I got it. All right. Darren McBreen's bringing it over here. Say hey, Darren. <clears throat> Where are we at? Right here. Camera's right there. All right. So uh, go ahead and explain this, David. This is yours. Yeah, that was a, that was a gift to me. People know how much I like Donald Trump. Uh, it's a. 
<laughs> it's a poster along the lines of the one that was uh, that made Obama famous. And the motto is we shall overcome. And it says there will be hell to pay. And there will be hell <laughs> to, in, pay. Uh, to pay. T-O-U-P-E, yeah. to <laughs> That's pay. That's right, it's a hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a great little uh, icon down at the bottom, which I think he really ought to make his logo. Although what? people have had the, I think it was Wired Magazine, took the Obama logo, you know, the O with the American flag down the bottom yeah. corner. They rotated that uh, uh, <laughs> 180 degrees and changed the colors, and it looks like a, like a Donald Air. Trump's comb uh, <laughs> coming the down. Comb there. over. But but you know, there's something far more to that that, that I think is interesting, and, and and that is the fact that one of the things that we were concerned about with Obama when he ran was the fact that there was this cult of personality that people were so willing to buy into him, and, and as they ask you the question about feminists, you know, who who gave a pass to uh, the jihadis and that sort of thing. It's because if you criticize Hillary Clinton, they immediately, Joe, say that you are a sexist. Mm -hmm. What they're betraying to you is the fact that they are the sexist because they support Hillary Clinton merely because she's a woman. Right. Therefore, if you oppose her, it's because she's a woman. The same thing was true of Barack Obama. People saying you're racist if you criticize Barack Obama because they supported him simply because he was black. So they said, well, if you don't support him, it's because you don't like him because he's black. It's that same type of thing. But the other thing that concerns me, and in parallel that I see to Donald Trump, is the cult of personality, the <laughs> logo, the branding, the people getting crying. invested emotionally, exactly, crying, the, the emotionalism that we see at these, these rallies. I find that to be very, very frightening. I find that far more frightening than any of these candidates because almost all these candidates, uh, you know, as we've said all night, I think they're very dangerous people. What is even more dangerous is a population that could worship these people as a cult of personality and never be concerned about what they really stand for. Many people had buyer's remorse with Obama that were true liberals and they said, hey, uh, we projected onto him what we thought he was gonna give us and we got something completely different. Same thing is going to happen with the conservatives as uh, uh, the who said, let's not get fooled again. Even Here's though the party tweet. on the left is now parting on the right. Right. Or comb over on right. the right. <laughs> Here's a good tweet right here by Doves XO. Uh, Doves XO says the laws, uh, the laws now didn't stop the Orient. Fiorina's kid then, so let's make more laws. Hashtag war on drugs equals failure. Yeah. So there's a lot of people who are talking about this. Uh, Don Midoff, the war on drugs is a war on people. Christiana's prohibition stance is ugly. Yeah. So this is one of the topics, one of the issues a lot of people are gonna be engaged in. A lot of people, the American people, wanna know about this. We have talked multiple times on InfoWars with law enforcement against prohibition. These are people who are current and former law enforcement officers, prosecutors, judges who truly believe that they could stop the problems that they saw with drugs, stop it by force. We understand that it's a medical issue. We understand it's a spiritual issue, or if you will, your secular is a psychological issue. got Alex walking around issue. doing the, the Facebook mentions, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, but, he's over here in the corner. He's gonna come in and I think. Well, they're talking about here comes vaccines Alex, here being comes. linked to Oh, let's talk about, vac hey, they're talking about vaccines. Let's just hear what they're doing a great job. All so I can say is, is <laughs> it is awesome to watch the crew out there live. I don't have an earpiece yet. I'm going to get set to take over the studio in the next 15 minutes. A special documentary we're about to air and a lot more. Uh, so we're just basically hanging on the background. <laughs> but I saw you over there live talking about the invasion of Europe, the open borders. The Saudi Arabia won't even take all these illegals. But we're being criticized for not taking more. When Saudi Arabia attacked all these countries and basically started all this with Western backing. And I said, you're under arrest because they are now arresting people. 120 days in jail, 5,000 euro fine. It's like more than $5,000. If you just say, don't open our borders, I'm not going to pay for illegals. This is the tyranny of political correctness. So back to your live feed and letting folks wrap up the debate coverage. More live coverage with myself and others all night long until 3 p.m. Central tomorrow. That's the worldwide 27-hour, 28-hour, we added an hour, bubble transmission. Stay with us. Back to Joe Biggs. Hello. Hey, what let's Trump go to what they're saying right vaccine. now because Donald Trump is making an epic statement Maybe about the connection of autism vaccine. and vaccines. And I've seen it, and I had my children taking care of over a long period of time, over a two or three year period of time, same exact amount. But you take this little beautiful baby and you pump, I mean, it looks just like it's meant for a horse, not for a child. And we've had so many instances, people that work for me just the other day, two years old, two and a half years old, a child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine and came back and a week later got a tremendous fever, Got very, very sick. This is now great. He's, he's doing a great job. I only say thank you, Donald. Not, I'm in favor of vaccines. I gotta say thank you for this. Period of time, yep. Same amount. Excellent. Thank you. 
just in in little and sections. that's what i said Dr. earlier and i agree on that excellent to have, excellent i think you're going to see a big impact on autism dr Carney, yeah. you're going to ben carson jump in Nailed it. good vaccine. job he didn't backtrack i like that that's right he's an okay doctor <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, trust me because I'm a doctor. Come on, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I don't hear that. I can read the stuff myself, Doctor Ben Carson. Right. Read the Constitution, jerk. If you're going to run for president. <laughs> There's no autism associated with vaccinations, Whoa. but it is uh, true. That documented proof by our paid-off uh. scientists. And paid off by of big pharma. Now recognize that, and I think are cutting down on the number and the proximity in which those are done. And, and that's, I think all that's all I'm saying, Jake. That's Dr. all Paul? I'm saying. Yeah, well, Paul, now they're like saying autism anyway. is caused by- Hey, let's understand. They one after the other. Yeah, let's understand we have such a thing called informed consent unless we're their slaves one too. Of the greatest, huh? One of the mm -hmm. greatest medical discoveries of all time were, were the vaccines, particularly for smallpox. And if you want to read a story, it's called The Speckled Monster. It's an amazing story. It was all done voluntarily, but people came in by the droves. George Washington wouldn't let his wife visit until she got vaccinated. So I'm all for vaccines, but I'm also for freedom. I'm also a little concerned about how they're bunched up. My kids had all of their vaccines, and even if the science doesn't say bunching them up's a problem, I ought to have the right to spread my vaccines out a little bit at the very least. That's right. All right. Informed consent. Yeah, coming up, right. Jake. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry, right. Governor Huckabee, please. That's the point. You know I what? I disagree know. with Rand Paul on vaccines, but he nailed it because as a president, what his responsibility is is not to decide, even if he is a doctor, his responsibility is not to decide what's the best for us and make us do it. Mm. Right. It's his responsibility to make sure he maintains our freedom to make that decision. It's my job as a, as a person to decide if I want to have a beer, if I decide if I want to go smoke pot, if I want to take a vaccination. It's up to me to decide what goes in my body. That's right. Not some president, not some dictator who thinks they can tell me what I can or can't do. That's right. It should right. be up to me. That's the freedom. That's what America's supposed to be about. And just like Carson admitted, he's like, yeah, maybe we should space them out a little bit more. But what about all the people who took them before that who are suffering the ill effects of having these things bang, 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 come through uh, right. in such a tight. And you're not gonna hear all these people who are now singing the praises of vaccines, even Rand Paul and Huckabee, you're not gonna hear them talking about when they talk about polio, polio, polio. You're not gonna hear them talking about SV40, simian virus number 40, which was put into the vaccines, adulterating no, the vaccines, exactly causing, and they admitted this, causing cancer. They still continue to use it even after they knew they'd contaminated the vaccines with it. And as we, uh, I guess we get into the last 10 minutes or so of uh, this particular broadcast, and Alex is going to come in and talk to uh, Larry Nichols. But, um, you know, as we look at this debate, you know, it, like I said earlier, it's a lot of rhetoric, it's a lot of angry rhetoric. Um, I'm very glad they did talk about things such as vaccines, but, you know, it's more of the same thing we've been talking about. It's just the template that they keep rehashing. And in these final moments, they actually did get into something that was of meaning to people. And as I was talking to Leanne in our segment earlier, you know, I'm not anti-vaccine. That's right, like you're anti-vaxxer, you're a flat earth. I was like, no, I'm a person who actually went into Walgreens, got the the uh, insert and told me the things that could, could do to me. And I took that and I was like, wow, I could get sick even if I take the vaccine from the vaccine. Mm -hmm. I choose not to take it. Yes. And you may not choose that same thing, but I think you should have the right in the United right. States of America. And if your vaccine works, yourself. you'll be protected, okay? You'll be protected from those of us who get it and die. So you should be happy because yeah. it'll be your little uh, Darwinian social experiment. But it's the herd immunity. <laughs> it's the herd, herd immunity. immunity. Yeah, yeah. That well, that's herd, the logic herd mentality. that's so off. Well, this is the 28 hour InfoWars money bomb of 2015. Uh, we're not even halfway through it yet. Uh, we are trying to reach 400 million people. We need a million dollars to kick off this operation, to kick it up to the next level. We've had, uh, we've got a line that you can call in to help us with that. Uh, that number is 888-253-3139. And again, as an incentive to you, as a thank you to you, we're also offering our products with free shipping, as well as special discounts. We have discounts that are running throughout the day on selected products like Survival Shield X2. Uh, we've got an 30% uh, off. We've got 20% off Brain Force and Silver Bullet. We have 15% off Deep Cleanse, Secret 12. That's our B12 formulation and Oxy Powder. And we also have a sale through 10 p.m. Uh, it's going to end pretty shortly. 30% off of Super Male Vitality. All of those are free shipping. So if you want to uh, take advantage of that, uh, uh, take advantage of the discount that we're offering you as a thank you. Again, that number is 888-253-3139. 
If you can afford to just make a direct contribution, that would help us even more. Thank